Hello everybody and welcome to another monthly TBR. Another month that I continue to disappoint myself by reading pretty much no books that I bought my TBR. like I am always trying to find new different ways to form a TBR because I know that some of them get a little repetitive and I am just scared of being boring. FedEx is driving by and right by a window so this isn't doing great things. Anyway, months ago I designed a TBR board game and that's how I've been doing my TBRs when I do them for the past few months. But I really wanted to switch it up and try to do something unique and new and I tried to come up with a different video idea that did not work. So then I was back to the drawing board and I was really thinking and then I thought about how a few months ago I did the like wheel picks how many hours that I read for in a day. And I was like, you know what is fun if we mix that with the number generator and then this video was born. I don't even really know what to call this. Maybe we'll just call it like number generator picks my TBR because that is kind of the more gist of it. I don't know. I'm going to explain this to you. Let's get into it and do the whole entire process. With mixing the two concepts of the wheel and the number generator, basically I came up with the idea of the wheel where it would either be to pick off of my physical TBR or to pick a TBR prompt. I kind of already do this when I do the board game. I either like land on just picking straight up like a book of that certain genre on my TBR or I go and like pick a TBR prompt depending on what I land on. So I kind of thought to bring that same exact concept here. So basically on the wheel, I will have it say physical TBR or TBR prompt and whichever one it lands on is what we're going to do. So depending on how many books I want to do, we're going to spend that many times. So say I want six, we're going to spend six times and see which one is for each of them. So say that the first three are all physical TBR and the other three are TBR prompts. That is where this comes in. I made an entire page where I'm keeping track of TBR prompts and books and they all have numbers attached to them. So then we are going to go to, over to the number generator and I'm going to say pick a number between one and 167 and whatever it lands on. I am basically going to go over to my physical TPR and find number 152 and whatever book that is, is what that first book is going to be. You guys will see as we go on with the video. I don't know why I kind of try to like over explain things in the first few moments. That is what we are doing today. So let's get into it. So the first and most important step for me to do was to basically get all of the TBR prompts and the books with numbers attached to them and put them in a sheet, which, you know, a really good place that you could even like do something like this if you're wanting to make this into... I don't know, a website is Squarespace, who is the proud sponsor of today's video. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I talk about Squarespace literally all the time. So if you guys have somehow not heard of Squarespace yet, I am happy to tell you all about it. Squarespace is absolutely the best place to go if you are wanting to build a website for whatever reasoning it may be. Literally everything is so personal, but blog, business, shopping, whatever it may be whatever floats your boat, if you will. Basically, you just go on Squarespace. I have built up my own personal like little blog space that I've been playing around with. And it was so easy to just head on to Squarespace. They had so many templates that greet you right there as soon as you get on. And basically you just see one that kind of fits your vibe. But even if you want to change a few things about it, it's so easy to just go in and customize it. And there are just so many different customizations. It's, it's so user friendly and simple. From there, when you're building your website, something that really helps is all of the data and analytics that Squarespace offers. So there are are so many different ways to see what is working for your website via website traffic or even if you're running a business and you need scheduling or if you're just really wanting to see like what's working how many people are visiting there it's pretty endless in which you can use for statistics to kind of see how your website is growing the thing that I love about Squarespace though is how just easy and flawless they make it for like socials because obviously I attach my socials to everything that I do I like to have them cohesively in all one place and it's very easy to just navigate on the website and go to my different socials and have kind of a community within the blog itself. So if any of this interests you guys, you guys can head to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you guys are ready to launch, you guys can head to squarespace.com slash Jessie Sidwell to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into how this TBR is going to work. So as I said, I had to spend some time putting this together all morning this morning, actually. So now let's officially get into what we are doing. So you guys are just to kind of see as we go along like how this is going to work. I've tried to explain it as best as I can. Okay, right here we are on my Notion. So you will see that I have the physical TBR list on the left side and the TBR prompts on the right side and you see how they have numbers attached to them. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the wheel. Here's what we're doing. We're going to delete all of these and we're just going to do 
physical TBR or TBR prompt. Oh, I can't spell. So basically we have these two sides. So what we're gonna do, this is going to be our first. So I think for this month's reading, I think I'm going to do a six book TBR this month because I have a few videos planned already. I have a trip that I'm going on. So it's kind of more of a busy month for me. So I think we're gonna do the TBR down to six. That way we can see if we can do it. So I'm going to spin this and this is gonna be our first one. I'm gonna write all this down in my notebook. Okay, so it looks like we have TBR prompts for the first one. So we're gonna do this another time. So first one is TBR prompts. Let's see what the second one is. I'm really hoping they're TBR prompts because I feel like you get more of a free range to choose. Oh my gosh, second one is TBR prompts again. Number three, a lot of people's lucky number is three. Oh my gosh, is it gonna be TBR prompts? Is it gonna be TBR prompts? Yes, it is. Here, I'm not having these sound effects. If you guys can hear them, it's literally just in the background. Okay, so we're halfway through and basically we've gotten all TBR prompts. Oh, number four, we have yet again prompts. Here we're we going with number five. Are we gonna get just a physical TBR? It looks like we are. Okay, last one, let's see. So first, so our first four are prompts. Fifth one is physical. Let's see what the last one is. Okay, we have another physical TBR for the last one. Now here is where the number generator comes in. So the first four are TBR prompts. We have 30 TBR prompts. So what I'm gonna do is the minimum is one, the maximum is 30, and we're gonna generate these. I'm not even gonna check them, I'm just gonna do the number generation for the six. So let's see. For the first four, we're doing one through 30. Okay, so we have 20, we'll do it again, 10, doing it again then we have one and then the last one 24 and so now for the other two we're going to do physical so i think i have let's see what it goes to 174 so minimum is one maximum is one so oh, not 274 174 okay 60 so we have 67 and 114 let's see the the prompts that we are picking. First of all, let's go to the prompts. So we're starting off with number 20. So the number 20 prompt is start of a series. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of options for this one and it's a little bit of a free range pick. Majority of it is definitely fantasy. So it looks like we're probably gonna be picking up a fantasy book this month. Next one is 10. Number 10 prompt is book with less than 500 pages. I thought it was the more than. I was about to be like, <gasps> okay. Now we're going to prompt number one, which is a free pick. Wow, I got really lucky with that one. Even though I don't feel like any of these are too bad. So even if I didn't get a free pick, I feel like this is pretty good. Last one is prompt number 24, which is mom picks a book. So you guys are going to get another mom. Mom, you guys have been asking for my mom to show back up. So she's gonna show up for a little portion of today's video. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the physical TBR for the last two. So we have number 67. Let's locate number 67. Here we go. The Fake Out. That is so funny because I'm literally 80% through that book. So that's going to be quite simple to do. And if I don't finish that book this month, somebody slap me in the face. Okay, then we go to 114. A Love Letter to Whiskey. That is so crazy because while I was putting these in, I literally was looking at A Love Letter to Whiskey and I was like, man, I should just read this book. I've had this book sitting on my TBR since like 2021, 2022, and I hear amazing things about it. I should just go ahead and read it. So that is crazy that we ended up getting this one. Okay, so we have all of our picks. So now we need to go over and see which prompts fit with what books. Let's go to the bookshelves. And by that, I mean literally just pivot. Just pivot with me for a sec. So the first prompt that we're going with is the start of a series. So we have quite a few options. I mean, this pile right here that is standing are literally all of the first books in the series. I have a few more, of course, but ones that are catching my eye just off of the bat, we have Renegades, The Poppy War, The Bridge Kingdom, Heavenly Body. I'm trying to think of what's kind of giving me like March is like the first of spring. Like what's giving me kind of like a spring fantasy vibe. I feel like it's either going to be Renegades. It's got to be Renegades or Bridge Kingdom. <sighs> The thing is, is that I know both Sarah and Rachel like loves this series. And I also know that Bestie Rachel has read this one too. And this one's a little bit longer. 
I think I'm gonna go with this one. What solidified it is because Sarah J Mass has a review on the back. So if Sarah J Mass likes it, looks like we're gonna go with it. Second one is a book that is less than 500 pages. There are quite a bit, very expansive. So I guess this is also kind of like a free pick a little bit. I honestly think I may go with this one, which is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia Fairies. I was just thinking about this one today as well because I was thinking about how this one just gives me like burst of spring vibe. So we're gonna go with this one for a book less than 500 pages. Next prompt is the free pick prompt and then it's my mom picks. So let's go ahead and pick a book before she gets up here. We're getting her up here. It's a good thing that I already know which book I wanna pick. I'm gonna to do you with a view i bought this last month and i already was going to take it on the trip that we're going on with me so this is my free pick what are we doing what am i picking you're just picking a book this time just one okay. singular book from from this physical tbr over here or over there hmm. oh you're just finding a stick with over here well i'm just looking any of these any of these on the floor. Oh, she's heading over here. I wonder what her thought process is. If she's just going in based off the cover, if she's thinking of the titles. Both. Oh my goodness, I know her so well. I'm so tired, guys, while we wait for her. I'm so tired. These hollow valves. These hollow Oh, Charlie does not you love don't want that. Me to, you don't want me to oh, pick. oh. You want to pick one? Do you want to pick one? She said, yeah, I do. What do you? Literally, look. She's like, so she upset went, right now. You want to pick one? She didn't like that pick. She, she was like not it. happy with that one. You want to pick one? Wow. What made you pick this one? What made you pick this up? What's your thought process? Thought process? Well, I was looking at the titles and then I thought <laughs> that, that sounds pretty interesting and I like the I like the cover, I like the way it looks. So let me pick a couple more and let Charlie, like I'll just pick some random and then let her pick one with her paw. You want to? <laughs> no, no. You want to pick one? Yeah? Want me to grab a couple and then let you see which one you, you like? She's like, or is that yes. unfair? Yeah. My mom has put a little twist. So we're gonna go with, Charlie's gonna pick one if she doesn't attack my mom before this is over. Charlie, come here. No, oh, okay. Sit down. Okay, sit down, babe. Which one? With your paw, which one? One, two, three. Oh, oh, you oh, keep, oh, 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 oh. oh. Okay, I guess she, okay. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's she, even telling us yeah, all about she it. She said, I want that one. I like that one. You tried to rip it, rip it up, didn't you? You just go, girl. That's good. Good job. She's telling us she thinks it's going to be a five star. Yeah, she's like, oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. okay. It's going to be a five okay. star. Okay. Well, for those of you who have been asking for both my mom and my dog to pick my TBR, there you are. This is what the March TBR is looking like. We have, I feel like, do we have a range of books? I feel like we have a span of books, just kind of primarily romance and fantasy. So first of all, we have The Fake Out, which I'm pretty much done with. So if I don't finish that this month, that's pretty disappointing. I have a love letter to whiskey, which if I finish this this month, that means I'm knocking off a book that's been on my TBR for like two years. We have Promises We Meant to Keep, which I think is a part of the whole entire like Lancaster prep with um, A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime. We have These Hollow Vows, which would be another one that I think this is like at least a year old on my TBR. And this is like a fantasy that I think I've heard is like Akatar kind of. So interested to see what this is. Then we have You With a View. Then we have Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies, which I've just heard that this writing is super whimsical and magical. And I feel like this is like the start of spring. I feel like this book just kind of like encapsulates that vibe. And then we have The Bridge Kingdom, which honestly, I feel like this is a very doable monthly TBR. So if you guys are interested, stick around to find out. I am planning on doing a can I finish my TBR video this month in March. So stick around for that if you are interested. With all of that being said, that's my monthly TBR. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching again, and I shall see you guys whenever I see ya. Peace.